Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this invoice in Word. So I'm just going to open a new document and I'm going to create this with the help of tables, which makes everything really, really simple and adjustable. So let's go up to the insert tab, go to table, click on the drop down and go down to insert table. I'm going to choose four columns and 20 rows and click OK. Now my rows are quite narrow at the moment so I'm going to increase the height of them and the way to do that is to select the whole of the table by clicking on this square at the top left or you can simply click and drag across all the cells. Go up to the layout tab, go up to height here and you can adjust this value here. You can either use this up and down arrow or you can simply enter in a value. If I enter one, you can see it doesn't quite stretch out to the end of my document. So I'm going to choose 1.2. And you can see I've created an additional page. Now I want to get rid of that. So all I'm going to do is go down to my rulers here. If you can't see your rulers, go to view and click on this ruler icon here and just check this box. Go down to the bottom here, hover your cursor between the white and grey section, click, a line will appear, and you just drag that down to the end there. Perfect. Now the first thing we're going to do is to insert our logo. But what we don't need to do is adjust the size of these cells. What we're going to do is to merge them. So we're going to create a space around this big, so we're just going to click and drag across those cells. And then I'm going to go up to Table Layout and then across to this icon that says Merge Cells. As you can see, we've merged that cell into one. And then we're going to insert our logo. So go to Insert, Pictures, Picture from File. I'm going to go to my desktop and select my logo and click Insert. Now your logo can sometimes be a bit clunky to move around. So all you need to do is select it. Make sure you're on Picture Format go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Then you can move this anywhere in your document. We're just going to move it over to the side here but we can come back later if we want to to adjust it. Now we're going to go over to this section here and we're going to input in all of our contact details. So what I'm going to do is let's go back to the original and you can see I've got these grid lines around here and I'll show you how to do that shortly. I'm going to insert all these contact details. So what I've done is I've merged the cells here and I've also merged the cells here but I've moved this in this line in between here. So let's show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is select these four cells here, go up to layout, select merge, select these four cells here, select merge, then select these two cells here because we only want to affect this line here. We don't want to affect the rest of the line going down the table. Hover your cursor over the middle till it changes and then just drag that over to the side. So let's go back to the original. And all I'm going to do is select this text and copy and paste it. But you can put obviously your own text in here. This one just needs to move over to the other side. So if we just select all of that text and in the layout tab you can go over to this section here and this will allow you to select exactly where you want your text to be placed within your cell. So I want mine aligned to the center right and you can see as soon as I click that it aligns it to the center right. And this really is the advantage of using a table because you can use these alignment tools to align all the text up where exactly where you want it. The next thing is to place in my icons. So I'm going to go to Insert and Icons. For you this might be Clip Art. And in the search bar here I'm going to type Phone. And then I'm going to select this one here. Click on it and go down and select Insert. And again we need to ensure that we can move this round correctly. So select it, right click, go down to Wrap Text and select In Front of Text and that means you can move it anywhere in your document. 
Now this is obviously a little bit big at the moment, so select it, go to graphics format, go along to height, I'm going to select one and press enter and it will automatically adjust the other one. Just move that over. Next, I'm going to go back over to my search bar in my icons and I'm going to type in website. I'm going to select this image here, click insert. Again, do exactly the same, right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. That will allow you again to move it around any way you like. Again, go up to graphics format, along to height, select one centimeter, press enter, and then move it down. We will align all of these up. So just put it roughly where you need it. Once again, I'm going to go over to the search bar and type in location. I'm going to select this icon here, select insert, right click, wrap text, in front of text, go to graphics format, height, one centimeter, press enter and move that down. Now once you've got them roughly in the right place, you can use your arrow keys or you can use your mouse to adjust the location. What we're going to do is select them all. So hold down your command or control key on your keyboard and click on all of the different icons. And then in the graphics format tab, go along to this align tool, click on the drop down and select distribute vertically. And that will mean there's an equal distance between each of the icons. Then select group, click on the drop down and select group. And this will mean that you can move them anywhere as one unit. And then you can pretty much line them up with the various bits of text. Now you can see there are all these lines in between here. And this is a process that you'll very quickly get used to eliminating those border lines and putting them back in. So I want to get rid of all the border lines around this section here. So I'm going to select these two cells. I'm going to go to table design and along to this section here. And this is where you can color your borders, take them out, put them in, make them thicker. There's all these adjustments that you can make. So I'm going to go up to borders here and I'm just going to select no borders. And as you can see, all the borders have been taken out, but the cells still remain. Now, the easy solution to viewing those cells is to go down to view grid lines. If you go to view grid lines, you get these dotted lines that are slightly gray. Now, what that means is it shows you where the cells are, but there are no border lines on those cells. So it's just like a guide, really, to show you where your cells are. So I'm going to keep that selected for now, but you can keep checking it off when you want to see your completed invoice. I'm also going to take out these borders on this cell here so I'm just going to click in it and I've already got no borders selected here so I'm just going to click on that. I'm also going to take out this one here, click no borders and then if I just go back and take that off you can see where you are at the moment with those border lines. I'll put them back on and now I'm going to merge these cells here because I'm going to put in the address bar. If we go back to the original, you can see I just want to put the address in here. So I'm going to select those cells and I'm going to actually merge these cells. So go up to layout and merge. Then I'm going to go back to the original. I'm just going to select my text. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm simply going to paste. Now, obviously, you'll have your own text in here with your client's information and their details. So just pop that in there. And then I'm going to get rid of that borderline as well. So up to table design and click no borders. And then just, just have a look at that without the grid lines. Perfect. So again, the next element I need to take out are these lines. So again, select those cells, go to table design, along to borders, no borders. So next we can start with the main table. If you go back to the original, we can start with this section here. So I'm going to go up to boards and put those grid lines back on. And I'm just going to type in that text. Now to customize this, I'm going to change the position of the text, the color of the text and the color of the cells. So I'm going to select this top row here. 
I'm going to go up to layout and I'm going to put that text right in the middle of my cell. Then I'm going to go to table design. I'm going to go to this shading icon and this is the one that you select to change the color of the cells of your table. So if I click this color here, you can see it's changed the color of my cells. Now the black doesn't work very well on this color, I don't think, so I'm going to change this text color to white. So I've selected it all, go to the home tab and go along to the font color icon, click on the drop down and select the color of your choice. Then we can input all the information that we want. So if we go back to the original, you can see here that we've, we've got one, two, three, four lines of information. So if we go back over here, so to the main body of the text, you can keep the height of these cells as you wish, but I've actually merged them to make the heights of these cells wider. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two cells, go up to the layout tab, select merge cells, and continue to do that for four rows. Now for these four rows, I'm just going to move this central line over so I need to create a little bit more space for my description. Let's just select the whole of these two rows and then grab that central line and then let's just move that over. Now obviously you can see how we've squashed this one here and we want these three columns to be exactly the same width. So all we're going to do is select these three and then we're going to go up to layout and then distribute columns and that will distribute them equally makes them look perfect. Now I'm just going to steal the text okay so this is where you would put all the description about the charges that you're giving to your client whether that's a service or a product. So once you've put the information in then we can line all of these up so I don't want the text to be at the top left I'm going to select it all go to layout and I want it over here so this is the center but to the left click on that and that's put that beautifully in my cells as I want next I'm going to put all my units in so again I'm going to go and steal this text here copy it and then paste it over now once again you can see it's not lined up in the center of my cells so I'm just going to select it all go to layout and then I'm going to put it right in the center here and this is just simple text that I've typed into my cells once I've done that I want to get rid of all of the cell borders here so I'm going to select in fact I'm going to select all of this here so I'm going to get rid of this at the top as well and just remember that when you want to get rid of a cell border you have to select the cell or the surrounding cells and sometimes it will take out borders that you don't want it to take out you can go back in and put them in afterwards so I'm going to select all of this go to layout sorry go to table design go to borders and select no borders and then up here I'm going to get rid of this line that runs down the side here so select it all Go to borders, click on the drop down and I'm going to select left border and that will get rid of that left border. If we take off the grid lines, you can see where we are so far. You can see we've got a line here that I don't want. So click in that cell, go to borders, select no borders and it will take out that line at the bottom there. And so far so good. So now we're going to do the total at the bottom. So I'm going to select it all. I'm going to go up to table design, go to the shading and pick another color. And then I'm going to type in total and then the final amount. And then again, I'm going to adjust my text. So I'm going to select these two cells. I'm going to go up to layout and I want them in the center of my cells. I'm going to change the color again of the text. So go to the home tab and select font color it's already set to white then I'm just going to select the total and make that bigger so I'm going to select that text go up to the home tab and I'm going to go to this increase font size icon so I'm just going to keep clicking on that until it's the right size so I think that's absolutely fine 
Then I'm going to go along and get rid of the border lines, so select all the cells, go to table design, select no borders, and then we're going to put in the payment details at the bottom here. So we just go back, we've got one, two, three, four cells there. We've only got three here. So we've made a slightly different adjustment to our table than the original, but that's absolutely fine. What we can do is we can select the top row here, we can go to table layout, we can go to split cells, and then we can choose number of columns is eight, we only want four, and the number of rows is two. So we want to split that row in half, click OK. And then you can see the adjustment we've made here, so all we need to do is move this line over to this one, move this line over, and then move this line over. So you can see now it's exactly the same. If we want all of these cell heights to be the same, select them all, and then go up to layout, and then distribute rows. Now I can adjust where my text lies in my cells. So again, go up to layout, and I want them to lie aligned to center left. Then I'm going to choose my text. Again, this will all be down to your personal preference. And then we're just going to adjust this middle line here. We're going to bring that over like that. Don't forget, only select the cells where you want this line to be affected. And then we'll just put in the details. And then I'm just going to merge this cell here because I want to make this text a little bit bigger. So I'm going to select them both, go up to layout, select merge cells and then stay on this cell, I'm going to go to home, and then increase the size of that text there. And now finally, I want to get rid of all of the cell borders, so select it all, go to table design, borders, and click no borders. Okay, so the only thing for me here is there is not enough space between this section here and this payments text here. So I'm going to go up to my borders and I'm going to go to view grid lines. What I want to do is maybe put a new row between payments and this blue line. So we need to create some additional space. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is move everything up and it's really easy to do that. Go over to your margin ruler over the side here again. Click between the grey and white section and just pull it up. Then I'm going to add a row above. So I click in payments, then I go to layout, and then you can see this section here I've got insert above, below, left and right. So I want to insert one above, so just click insert above, and now you can see we've got an additional space. So if I take the grid lines off again, go to borders, view grid lines, you can see now I've got a much nicer and cleaner space between that blue shading and payments. Now if you want to make this into a template, then just make sure you haven't filled in any of the details in the middle, because obviously that's something you'll need to adjust time and time again. But all you need to do is to go up to File, Save as Template. Make sure your file format is Microsoft Word template and ensure you're in this templates file here. Name it whatever you like, and then just click Save. And what that will mean is once you've saved that into your templates, then you can use it time and time again. And even when you put all the information and you save it, you'll automatically be saving it as a brand new document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.